<laughs> if I were to tell you that you could fit not one. A pig? Not two, no, but three 14-foot kayaks inside of a car. Not on the roof, not on the outside, but inside the car. Three 14-foot kayaks, would you believe me? You need a really big car. No, just a regular-sized car that can handle three kayaks. It's collapsible and weighs under 60 pounds. It's something you've got to see to believe. Hello, everybody. This is a story about kayaking. And as you can see, there are no kayaks here. But inside, according to Doug and Zanel, there are three kayaks in here. And they're going to unload them, and we're going to go out on the Connecticut River. And this is something that I have to see. So you're telling me, Doug, that there are three kayaks in this? There are three 14-foot long kayaks in there. Three 14-foot long kayaks. This is like a magic show. All right, so we're going to watch you unpack. We're going to set these up, and we're going to get the full story, and then I'm going in the water. Yes, you are. Doug and Zanelle Macro, who live right here in Connecticut, are the inventors of the Pakiak. And in no time flat, three approximately four-foot-tall totable bags come out of the car. All right, so the car is unpacked. This is a 14-foot kayak, Doug? That's correct. How, how do you get a 14-foot kayak in about a four-foot-tall bag? Well, you take it apart in six sections, and you nest them together. Okay, so let's see it. And Zanelle, how long does it take to put together a kayak? It takes about two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> yes. You just lay the towel down, you toss your your uh, seat aside, and you start building two towers. And that's exactly what they start doing. Piece by piece, they put two of the packy acts together. They come out largest to smallest, and so it's really easy to just stack on top of each other. And the clamps are all right inside the hatch. This thing's going to float, Sunel? <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Uh, it couldn't have been more than two minutes, three minutes? Three minutes to put together a 14-foot kayak. And it's going to float. Promise. She promises, Zanel promises, that it's going to float. Okay. The other thing is, if you look at Doug, how cool is that? Here's how the Pakiak came to be. Uh, I think we started the company about six years ago now. And what was the? Uh, how did you come up with this idea? I think it's remarkable. Well, we wanted a we wanted a kayak that we could take with us, pack up, store easy, transport down to the river, take it anywhere you want it to go without having to load a big 14 foot monster around and, and struggle to get it on roof racks. And we we didn't want it to take up the space that we didn't have. It's some um, tongue and groove. Inter interconnecting sections. It's got a silicone foam gasket in each one that makes it watertight. And that's all held together with stainless steel, um, very strong stainless steel latches that have a secondary locking feature. So once they're locked, you can't unlock them unless you release that lock. And our goals were high performance kayak that'll do everything a high end kayak will do, but it opens up packability so you can take it in a car on a subway, on a ferry, in a taxi cab, on a plane, up in an apartment building, in a condo. It opens it up to everybody who didn't have the opportunity to kayak before. Now they can. Yeah, so our goal was a 45-inch tall pack, 24 inches wide, 16 inches deep, with wheeled luggage that sets up in under three minutes. I think we've achieved it. I think so, too. And it's made right here? Where is it made? Uh, it's all American-made. We source the parts that make the boat in Massachusetts. We assemble here in Connecticut as well as in Massachusetts. It's time to get in the water. I get a quick tutorial on land before I get into the Connecticut River. Seems pretty easy to me. We bring the Pakiak down to the Connecticut River. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Pick it right. up. Let's just let these waves just go right by and start okay. flat. This is gonna be your pal. If it's all right, I'm just gonna get you in the water, get you situated, make sure you feel comfortable. Okay. You know? Okay. Excellent. Now, get in? Yep, yeah, hop right in. Oh, no worries. I'm sorry. That's okay. No oh, worries. Whacking them in the head. First question, how does that feel to you? Good. Okay. Yeah. Just get used to that. Okay, you want to control it with your knees. You don't want to lean side to side. You want to keep balance. Okay. And when you move, you want to move just your arms to paddle. You know, is that, is that division? That's what I mean. You don't want to tip, just want to paddle. There you go. I think you've got it. How do you feel? 
I feel a little unstable. It's all right. That's better. Keeping that upper body over your center of mass. Good job. Pretty good. It floats. It really floats. And Doug says I'm doing pretty good. I think you're doing great. I think you're doing great. Nice job. It's all in the knees. It's all in the knees. And the hips. It's like dancing. And the hips. It's like dancing. You're a good dancer, right? Not really. Uh-oh. I should have asked that first. We paddle around on the calm waters of the Connecticut River, and this really is a blast. Sailing, sailing on the Connecticut River in my Pacquiac. All right, it was great fun out here on the Connecticut River in the Pacquiac, guys. What an amazing product. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. A lot of fun. Where do we go for more information? Pacquiac.com. P-A-K-A-Y-A-K.com. For hours and hours of entertainment, and it's collapsible. What could be better? Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Can you believe it? What a great price point. What a great invention. It's about $17.95, I think it costs, uh, for one uh, Pacquiac, but, you know, that's, I think, really reasonable, and uh, it's currently being sold all over the world. I love the idea. I mean, if you want to own a kayak and you don't live on the water, you yeah, can't just keep there. You can just you know, collapse it's and wonderful. take it where you want. Um, and that was your first time ever kayak. First time ever kayak. Nice job Not there. Not bad, right? So if you'd like to check out Pacquiac yourself, head to the website. It's P A K A Y A K. Dot com right there on your screen. We'll, of course, have it on BetterCT.com as well. All right, up next, we're going to be visiting one of the state's newest vineyards. Yes, we're learning about how a longtime farming family transformed their dairy business into...